Hi, welcome to another episode of Aerial ABCs. My name is Rain Anya from Paper Doll Militia. Today we're going to be looking at the technique for an L-sit roll-up. This is a technique that can be used in many types of aerial skills. Learning how to articulate your spine in a sequential way will help to free up all kinds of pathways in the body, making your movement more fluid and efficient. Let's start by looking at the L-sit on its own. There's a magical distance between the hands and the feet that helps us to get a good L-sit. From standing in a regular climb, put your hands about forehead height and then lean back to drop the hips down. Make sure to keep engaging the shoulders down the back as if you were doing a straight arm hang. Look down and check that your feet are about level with your hips. Try not to scoop your pelvis forward, but sit down as if you were sitting in a chair. You should have a crease at your hips. Now let's try to accomplish the same shape, but from a hang or a climb. So if I were to climb with straight arms, all I would need to do is bring my knees up and stick the legs straight out to create that same L shape. Don't do a pull up or start your L sit with bent arms. This makes it so your feet will be much too close to your hands and makes it really difficult for the roll up part of it. Don't shuffle your feet to try to get them higher. If your feet don't get up to hip height right away, keep working on it without the shuffle. Even if it's a little low for a while, don't worry. You'll get there quicker than you think. The shuffle is not your friend. Here are some tips for getting rid of your shuffle feet. Try thinking about bringing your heel to your sits bones rather than thinking of knees to chest or heels to bum. Let the fabric slide up your feet before shooting them straight out in front of you. Now let's work on our roll-up. There are three main parts to the roll-up. Hips, chest, and head. Let's start with the hips. Rock your pelvis back and forth a few times to feel a tuck of the tailbone, which is going to lead us up to a bridge. Try to feel each vertebra leaving the floor sequentially, one after the other. Now we're going to do a partner exercise to practice putting the hips together with the chest and the head. From standing on the floor, lean back to an L-sit position. Have your partner start walking their fingers up your spine, starting at the base of the pelvis and all the way up to the head. Notice that the head stays in the curled position with the spine until your partner's fingers are about halfway up. Then it should drop all the way back, only to roll back up to neutral at the very end. Now let's try this all together from a hang or as a climb. From your L-sit, initiate your roll-up by tucking the tailbone first, then think about the pubic bone touching the fabric, the lower rib cage, and then finally the head comes up last. Don't lead by dropping your head back, it kills your flow. At the very top of the roll-up, make sure not to bring the shoulders up to the ears. Video yourself to make sure you're not skipping over any parts, hips, chest, and head. For an extra challenge, try this from a cross-legged position instead of from a foot clamp. Can you keep your toes pointed the whole time, even when you wrap your climb? Thanks for joining us for this episode of Aerial ABCs, and thank you to Lena Alani who helped out with demonstrating the partner exercise. Also, stay tuned for our next episode of Aerial ABCs, which will look at putting on a figure eight footlock with proper technique and form, and we'll also be using some of the techniques we learned for the L-sit roll-up and applying it to that. Here at Paper Doll Militia, we love dorking out on form and technique, and that's a big part of our teacher training programs as well. So if you're interested in getting more information on how to attend one of our teacher training programs, just look in the description below. See you next time.